Hello, AP Seminar, and welcome to uh, our little introduction to your IRR and your TMP. So that stands for your individual research report and your team media presentation. Uh, we are about to start a unit where we do a mock one. So we do a practice one before we send you off and do your actual performance assessment for the college board. And if you want to see what we're doing, this is a one screen look at what your IRR and your TMP are. So you start initially with a problem that you want to solve. So a problem you want to solve. And this problem needs to be something that can be studied with an appropriately sized magnifying glass. So your problem can't be racism, but your problem needs to be um, the, uh, the fact that uh, more minority students are uh, suspended in public schools. So you've got to start with something that is narrow enough for you to be able to deal with it. Your problem can't be um, uh, people getting sick. Your problem has to be uh, specifically what kind of healthcare system uh, you think needs to be implemented in the United States. Um, so you're, you're gonna wanna look, you care, your problem can't be climate change. Your problem needs to be at least specific enough to be about like ocean acidification or maybe in a specific geographic area. Um, because we have to be able to study it and implement a realistic solution. So it has to be a magnifying glass that is appropriately sized that you can hold and not one that would be focused on the entire world or every person in it. Uh, we want to start to narrow that down. Uh, it's always easier to get a little bit broader on your, on your problem than it is to go more and more narrow. So it's okay if you start out more narrow, we can bring it back up again. So think about this like Google Earth. We don't wanna be at the continent level. That would just be like, I'm gonna solve climate change. We really wanna zoom in specifically to be the problem of uh, getting more homeowners to uh, put solar panels on their roofs, that kind of thing. Uh, so zoom into the street level. We can always pull back if we need to. Then what do you do? As a group, you divide up your problem into four different lenses. You have four people in your group. Each person's going to take a different lens. We might look at the economic impacts, the public policies, the environmental science, psychology, medicine. Pick a different lens. And your goal in the IRR, in your individual research report, is to report to your team what the experts are saying. So your whole thing is an informative essay that explains what the experts in your field are saying about this problem. And we believe that if you use these three categories, the scope of the problem, how big is the problem, who's being affected, its causes and its solutions, that you will have a very successful IRR. You remember you are sharing what the experts are saying about the scope causes and solutions of the problem you have identified. You then share that IRR to your teammates. That's actually a really authentic audience that then you read everybody's IRR. And now you guys know what a lot of different experts are saying about this topic. And you are now informed enough to make a team media presentation, a TMP, about the full scope of this problem, the various causes, the poor solutions that you found that don't really address all of those root causes. And then your team argues, argues to prove that your solution is the best solution and we have to make that solution. So your IRR is an informative look at what the experts say. You put all of that together. Maybe your piece is the smallest, maybe it's the biggest, that's okay. That'll be determined by the quality of the research and the lens itself. And then in your team media presentation, you are making an argument for your best solution. The independent research report is going to lead you through a quest. You are going to question as a group uh, to find a problem that you can solve. You're going to try to understand this problem from different lenses about what the various stakeholders are saying about the scope, causes, and possible solutions. You're going to evaluate what the experts say, comparing and contrasting them, uh, what, what they say about the scope, causes, and impossible solutions. Remember, this is an informative essay here. 
You're going to organize your findings probably into causes and solutions that would make sense. I bet the scope of the problem will be the beginning of your essay, the context. And then you're going to transmit your findings to your group in a 1200 word essay. That's only five pages. And don't freak out about this because really all it is is three little papers, one about the scope, one about what the experts are saying about the causes, and then one about what the experts are saying about the solutions. You'll put them all together, we'll make it flow nicely, and then you will inform your team about what the experts are saying, okay? Then your team is gonna question as a group what's the best solution. They're gonna look to understand the problem from all the different lenses, all the different uh, uh, evaluations of how big this problem is, the causes that are happening with this problem, the possible solutions that are happening. Um, they're gonna evaluate those biggest causes and the best solution, and, and then they are going to, and here's the key thing, as a team, you're gonna take all of this work and you're gonna argue for the very best solution. You're gonna hammer that home with a good, solid argument after you've kind of dispelled all the other possible solutions. So what's a scope again? Your scope's gonna be your context. So in your IRR and in your TMP, you're gonna to wanna to let your audience know why they should care about this problem. Okay, don't just assume that your audience is gonna care about an endangered species even. Like you have to make them care about this. What stakeholders, is it animals, is it people? How many of these people are being impacted? This is all the context. Are they hurting? What's their suffering like? Um, how long have they been hurting? Is it just getting worse or can I wait this out? Make them care. Um, so we've got the scope, and that's probably going to be the, the intro to both your IRR and your TMP. Then you're going to look at the causes. Is our current use of machines and technology making this worse, maybe? Is there something about our society that's causing this suffering? Uh, is there something about us as humans that's causing this suffering? Maybe it's greed or fear or racism. Is this an issue where we are lacking money? Could money... Uh, be a be a root cause or the lack of it. Are large large corporations making this worse uh, through pollution or, or greed? Uh, do people just not know about the impact of their actions? Maybe they don't know how bad straws are um, for for the environment or something like that. And then your solution, I think, is going to be definitely tied to the causes that you find. Good solutions are going to identify multiple and solve multiple causes, right? And the more causes they solve. Um, the more causes they kind of clear out, the better that solution is. So maybe if we're, uh, this is being caused by uh, our use of technology machines, maybe there's a new technology we should be shifting to. Um, so if, if, if uh, uh, gas-based cars are not good, maybe it's electric cars. Uh, so new technologies, but who makes it? How much does it cost? How does it get out there to the market? How do we force people to buy it? Um, new laws, don't just say you want new laws. Tell us what you want those laws to say who's going to make them at what level of government is that going to be made or is it policies with different corporations or is it uh, agreements between different countries and who has to then enforce those laws maybe not everyone's going to like your law funding who spends it on what do they spend it and who pays for all this so don't just tell us you want to throw money at your problem Tell us what organization is going to get that money, how much money they're going to need, show that, that money is going to be effective. You have to be specific about how your solution is going to affect this problem and how it's going to be implemented. Private companies. Okay, if you want to have private companies solve this, how are they going to help and what's in it for them? These companies need to make a profit. So where's the profit going to come from for them? Maybe it's education, but you can't just be like, we want to teach because now we need to know what you want to teach. Uh, when you want to teach it, we already have a full calendar of stuff that we're teaching every every day in school. And by whom? Is it the teachers? Is it some other organization? Um, who's going to do the training and how are they going to do it? So you're going to be very specific in what you do. Now let's go back here. So you're going to pick a problem that's a specific enough problem. You can always get more general. Okay. You want to look at the scope, causes, and problems, uh, scope, causes, and solutions, excuse me, of your problem. You're going to study your problem from different lenses, each student picking a different lens, and they're going to report out what, what the experts say about the problem. And once you read about what all these experts from all these different lenses are, now you have an informed enough opinion to fully understand the scope what's causing this problem from multiple lenses and the best solution. You can dispense with those poor solutions and you can argue for your best solution. 
this is a 1200 word uh, essay, which is about five pages. You want to think about it as three little uh, three little uh, uh, essays of scope, causes, and solutions, all to inform about what the experts say. And then your team media presentation is about an eight minutes. So that's four people in a group. That's only two, pe two minutes per person of speaking time, where you then share scope, causes, poor solutions, and best solution. That's it. We'll do it once all the way through for a month and a half, and then we will send you off on your own to do it again uh, for a real time. So I think we're in, a, we're in a good position. Okay, my friends, our work now is to figure out what problem do you want to solve? Awkward pause.